I built this really beastly social media system in N8N for a client that's basically designed to research news articles and trending stories in order to create social media content. And the system is designed to give the client or give you a complete control of everything that gets posted, which channels you get posted to, whether or not you create AI generated images for the post and where the sources uh, for these stories Today, I really just want to focus on this top section, which is a really cool telegram workflow to get a bunch of news stories into your database in order to create social content from them. So basically, this can take a URL input, it can take a text message, or it can take a voice input and even do research for you uh, in order to get new content for social media. And basically, everything comes in here, and it's stored in this Airtable database. This is what like a complete record would look like, uh, something like this. It'll basically have the source headline, it'll have a summary of the article. And then basically the point is that you have control over this, right? Like you can choose which social channels you want to create content for. So maybe you only want a Twitter post or you want a Twitter and LinkedIn post created or you want Twitter, LinkedIn and an Instagram post. And so basically you have control over what content gets created. You also have control over if these posts get uh, an AI generated image or not, because maybe you just want to create a text post, right? You don't want to have to have an image along with everything. Or maybe you just want to write, uh, you know, like a single blog article and you don't want anything uh, for any of the other social channels. And so basically this whole system is designed to give you complete control over what gets posted and it's totally automated and you can set this up yourself. And so let me kind of show you how this first section works, uh, which is basically just this telegram trigger. And so basically it takes this input again, either a URL from like a news story, you can either text to it or you can, uh, you know, give it a voice message and it's going to do research for you. So basically, like, say we were like reading this article here uh, about how AI can steal your voice and there's not much you can do about it. Okay, it's a little bit of doomsday, uh, you know, maybe a little sensationalistic, but it, it's okay, right? Uh, so basically, all you do is like, if you have the scenario as active, uh, you don't need to click test workflow. But basically, what this is doing is waiting for you to message in Telegram. And I basically have this little news bot. And basically, I would just paste in. Uh, kind of like the URL from the news story. And you can see here, this routes it to the URL input. It's getting the news article. It's converting it uh, to HTML so that basically, um, you know, ChatGPT can understand it. It's going through this process. It's summarizing the article. And then if we come down here, we can see we have this latest AI can steal your voice. There's not much you can do about it. It pulls out the headline and then it gives us this nice little summary uh, of what the article is. And why this is so cool is that basically if we're interested in making social media content about this, we can say, yeah, I'm, I'm interested in this, right? And maybe I, I want to make a Twitter post about this. So I can just go ahead and select Twitter and the next kind of uh, automation that runs is going to go ahead and create a Twitter post for us and store it back here in the same database. So really that's the, the first input uh, you know, that we can use here. Likewise, like we we can use a text message, right? Like if I go ahead and click test workflow, um, you know, what's the latest news on Elon Musk? So just go ahead and ask that. And you can see if we come here now, since it's not an article, it routes it to this text query route. It's getting the topic, kind of understanding what my question is about. It's sending this over to Perplexity to do research on that topic for us. And then again, basically this uh, OpenAI ChatGPT model, you can switch this out for, you know, Quad or Google Gemini, whatever you want here. Uh, it's going to do research for us and it's going to kind of pull in that information here. And so now you can see we have latest update on Elon Musk and his ventures. Elon Musk is currently navigating several significant challenges across his ventures, particularly affecting his social media platform, X, formerly Twitter, et cetera, et cetera. And so, again, if we want to create social media posts on that, uh, we can. And uh, we have it set up here. So there's a little button that will actually take you to the news article uh, that Perplexity used. It actually gives you a variety of sources. I just picked the first one here because I think, you know, we, we don't need more than one just kind of for reference. Uh, but you can see here that this is where the story came from, straight from Politico. And uh, the last version is a voice memo, which is really fun. So like, say I'm like in a coffee shop or I'm taking a walk and I overhear some people talking or whatever, uh, and I can just go ahead and test workflow again. And I can come in here and I can say, I heard some people talking ha about how a SpaceX rocket exploded. I think it might be interesting to create social media content on that. So if I go ahead and send that message off, now it's coming down here. Uh, basically, ChatGPT is transcribing the message. And again, it's sending it through the same workflow to extract the topic from the message. Uh, Perplexity is performing some research. It's going to summarize that research and it's going to send it back over to Airtable for us today. And so again, this workflow is really quick. Uh, you can see here, we again, we have SpaceX rocket explosion, sparks online discussion. Basically, this goes ahead and gives us uh, some more info about how... Uh, you know, the space Starship rocket suffered a catastrophic failure during a test flight. And again, we can go to one of the articles that this came from. This came from Axios. And you can see here if you want to read more about that. But I think the system is really cool. Again, this is just kind of the start of the system. But I want to go ahead and just kind of like walk you through how we built this here. 
I'll leave a link in the description where you can download this workflow. All you have to do is come up to these three dots, go to import from file, search for the files on your computer, click open. This will go ahead and this entire automation will pop up. Of course, you'll have to link this up to your own Telegram uh, and your own ChatGPT services and Airtable and all that stuff. But you'll have the entire workflow set up, ready to go for you with all the AI prompts and everything. So the first thing you need, obviously, is a Telegram trigger. And if you haven't hooked anything up uh, to Telegram before, you just want to come into Telegram and you basically have to search for the bot father here. Uh, and you're going to go ahead and you just want to click backslash and you can do slash new bot and you can go through the process of uh, creating a new bot. And basically linking this up here, um, you know, to the Telegram connection, you just come in here to this pencil and you would drop in the access token for that specific bot. Basically, you have to have uh, a new bot for every sort of uh, trigger that you have in N8N, uh, which is good because it keeps it separate anyway. And so basically, this trigger is set up to take in, again, like any sort of message, right, text or audio. And so basically, this kind of router here, we have this filtering. We're basically looking to see if is this a text message, if it exists. Uh, then we're going to output to the text field. If it's an audio message, we're going to output to the audio route, right? The first thing that we're doing is uh, is the URL input. The URL input. That's what we looked at first today. And so I just have another um, kind of like split module here, right? And basically, it's just looking to see uh, if the text that came into it contains HTTP, because we all know our URLs will start with HTTP. Likely, if you're texting or talking uh, to Telegram, you're probably not going to put that in. So I'm basically just filtering this by whether or not this is actually just a URL uh, or, or something else. And so if this is a URL, it's just going to come up here to this really basic HTTP module. It's just going to pipe in uh, the URL for that. Uh, and basically what that does is it essentially just like gets the HTML version of that website. And so we can kind of just test this out. If I just click play on this first one, uh, it's just going to be waiting for a new message. Just paste in that same news article again. You can see here we come in here. We basically have uh, the text, which is just kind of this, uh, the URL for the news article. We can go ahead and test this step. You can see that's just getting the news article. This is a text item, not an audio item. So it's going to route this to this top route. We can come in here. If we click test step again, basically you can see here that now, again, this is an article link. It's not a text query because it contains HTTP. And so if we come up here to get article, we can test this step out now. And you can see that it's actually going to scrape that URL and it's going to pull in all the data uh, from this. And if we go into the JSON here, you can see we have this, in, this like massively long uh, HTML article, which is basically every single thing that you see on this page, every single link, all, all the uh, ads and everything that just kind of exists on this page. So, so it's a lot. So that's why the system is really powerful, because basically the next step is designed to summarize that article, right? And I basically just have, um, you know, this little prompt here that just says, you're a helpful, intelligent summarize assistant. Your task is to identify the main body text. Uh, of the article and create a detailed summary of its contents and potential implications. Identify any key subjects or themes and the main topic of the article. Also extract the headline from the article. And then I just gave it like an example summary here, just so it can kind of get a sense of like the type of output that I'm looking for, right? And we're literally all I'm doing here is I'm literally just feeding in the data uh, from this HTML, uh, from this HTTP request. So it's just taking the entire HTML and it's going to go ahead and, and scrape that. If you wanted to, uh, you could insert like a markdown node in between these to convert HTML to markdown, which might be a little bit easier. Uh, but I actually haven't had uh, a problem here um, with ChatGPT using the, the HTML format, although it can sometimes take uh, a little bit of time for it to process because obviously you, you saw there's, there's a lot of uh, text in there. Uh, and so actually maybe converting to markdown is, is really the smart move. Um, because it'll save you on, on tokens and, and credits when you're using the, uh, the ChatGPT API. So in a second, you can see here, basically, we just have uh, the source headline. So it literally just pulled the source headline directly from uh, the article, and it created the summary uh, of what that article is. And this is really great, because then I can use these uh, to basically come in here. I can set these fields uh, using just a specific JSON. I want to just make sure that it's really clear uh, what I'm pulling out. And so basically, I'm just taking the, the source headline and the source summary, and I'm just dragging these in here. And then if we come down into our little uh, switch node here, we can come into basically the text, which was like the original URL that I put in. And I'm basically just putting this in here. And so you can see this is the output in this JSON format. So that when I go ahead and I want to update uh, Airtable, I can just grab each one of those records. Again, the summary, the source URL, and the headline, and just basically pipe those into Airtable uh, in the necessary fields. And the status here is just waiting for content, which basically means like, all right, like we got a new source in here. We're just waiting for, uh, you know, social media content to to exist now. So that way I can use that in further steps to to look for anything that we decided that we, we want to create content with. So that's really the first route. Uh, pretty straightforward. Um, I think it's really powerful. 
again, if you wanted to, we can come down here and we could just take markdown data here and we could just take the data from HTML, pipe that in really quickly. You can go ahead, test step here, and you can see that we're going to just convert all this HTML into markdown format, which is actually significantly less text. And so I might actually prefer to use that here uh, and, uh, instead. And what's cool is this is already linked up to the data field. Uh, and so we have this here. Uh, I don't need to make any changes. This will work uh, just as is. Again, if I go ahead, test this step now, we can still summarize that same article. Uh, it should pull out kind of the same things, the headlines and the summary. So you still have the headline and now we have a summary here. It's the same thing. This will actually save you on tokens and will be a little bit faster. So I actually like this approach better. Great. A uh, little doing a little work on the fly here. Um, cool. So the next thing we saw we did is basically was just typing in text, right? Uh, so it comes down this route. If you type in text, so let's go ahead and we can go ahead and just test this step again. And we can say, um, what happened in the Warriors game the other night? Let's go ahead and we can send that off. I'm big old and say Warriors fan. Uh, you can see here we have the text query that came in now. So what's going to happen is if I just kind of test this one node, you can see basically now it's decided that this is a, a text output too, right? Uh, because there isn't an audio file. So we're good here. And what should happen is once we come in here, this is deciding, is this voice or is this text? And so it's going to reach our query. This isn't an article link. We didn't put in HTTP, but we do have a text query over here. And so you can see now we have our text query. So we can, again, route this to the right place. So basically, this is just storing our text message in this JSON format uh, that I like. And the reason that I, you do this, if you change this mode here from manual mapping to JSON and you put in this JSON text, the reason you do this is so that um, basically the AI model here can take either the output from the text field or from the transcription because both of them will output as J will output the field name as text. So you need to actually make sure that this is the same, uh, whether it's coming from the the voice transcription or from the text query. So that's why we store it here in so that we can give it the specific format to, to make sure that we don't run into errors down the line. So now you can see here it just pulled out our query, and we can go ahead and we can pass that. Uh, you know, to to the AI agent. And basically this says, you're a helpful intelligent research assistant. Your task is to take an incoming message and identify the main topic or news, then develop a simple AI prompt uh, to perform further research on that topic. Also create a short headline. Do not include any extra words, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So if we test that step, you can just see we have the source headline, Warriors game results and highlights, recent performance review, research the latest game results and highlights from the Golden State Warriors. So this is just the prompt that we're going to use to pass to perplexity. So here we're just making like a perplexity HTTP request. There's plenty of documentation on their site uh, about how to do that. Uh, here's the JSON that you need to kind of put in, the, in the, the body of this. And basically we're just here, we're just piping in this research prompt uh, into perplexity. So basically the next thing that happens is that perplexity now takes our prompt. It goes ahead and it researches for us. It even gives us these citations. Uh, and then it goes ahead and gives us the content, which is like a breakdown of the latest game highlights and key events, which was the Golden State Warriors versus Detroit, Detroit Pistons, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so from here, we take that research from Perplexity and we just take this and we just summarize this, right? So this is like pretty much really similar to the other summarizer agent that we have, which is basically just telling it it's a helpful and intelligent summarizer agent, summarize in detail the attached research, starting with the main point and highlights. And then I just wanted it to be brief. So I said summary should be no more than a thousand characters and then gave it some examples. So here we just have like a summary of what that event was, which is really great. And again, we just pass this to the set fields using a specific format so we can get the summary. Uh, one of the URLs coming from uh, Perplexity, which is really helpful. I just literally grabbed this first citation here and, and piped that into the URL just so we have something to reference. Uh, and then it created the headline for us. And then again, this gets saved into Airtable. And so if we come into Airtable here, you can see we have the Warriors game highlights and key events. And the last route is mostly the same, right? This is just with a, with a voice trigger. And so basically all you have to do is you talk into Telegram, you set up this Telegram uh, download, like a get a file node. If you come in here, you just type in Telegram. Uh, this is Telegram, you just go to get a file here. And basically you just want to pipe in, uh, you know, the message, the file ID from the voice message here. ChatGPT Whisper is going to transcribe that message for you. If you don't have a ChatGPT account, hooked up, just go to platform.openai.com, get your API key. This is really cheap to run. Uh, paste that in here and set up a new connection. This will transcribe the message that comes in, and then it goes through the same flow. It feeds this into uh, you know, the, the topic identifier, uh, the research assistant to create a prompt for perplexity. It'll get researched by perplexity. Then ChatGPT will summarize that research, and again, it'll store that in the Airtable database. 
So if you thought this video was cool, definitely make sure you check out the next part where I show you how to connect a whole bunch of RSS feeds up to get the latest trending news and topics. And again, to store this content in your Airtable database in order to create sources for your social media posts moving forward. I'll see you next time.